Yo guys, before we get into the video, we'll be talking about Tropical Storm Yas. And if you want, if you want more weather-related content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment what video you want me to do next, and I'll do it. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Bading. Anyway, this is Tropical Cyclone Yas, and. Obviously, this I'm on a joint typhoon warning sign with the JTWC. They are lagging behind. They say, oh, it was going to be a Category 3. Now they're saying it's going to be a Category 1. GFS says it was going to be a Category 4. But it's 65 knots now, guys. It's only just... Apparently, the JTWC has only just became a tropical... St a uh, cyclone. Which, to me... I think that's a bit stupid, because it was a cyclone this morning. No, well... I do tell a lie, it wasn't. So, yeah. This may be a short update, guys, but... But I'm sorry if this is a short update. So anyway, this is Tropical Cyclone Yas, and according to people, this was going to be a major hurricane, a major cyclone that was going to affect Kotwana, um, it was going to affect all, I forgot what all the Indian names are, because I'm not really used to tracking Indian cyclones. I've I only been starting to doing it since 2019. I've been tracking um, hurricanes in the Pacific and typhoons in the Pacific and hurricanes in the Atlantic for like since I don't know towards the end of 2018, maybe 2018, maybe 2017 at least. And yeah, I didn't have a channel then because my mum wouldn't let me have a channel because I was too young. So uh, yeah, so this is the potential of it making landfall. It's meant to make landfall later on tonight so I'm sorry I can't cover that because I'll be in bed but at least you have some footage of you know this tropical storm and yeah whatever forms on, on Saturday or Friday I'll keep you posted but we have got a couple of invests in the um you have got two in the Pacific, you've got one in, two in the Western Pacific, two in the Eastern Pacific, one in the Central Pacific, one on the, in the Australian region, and another one in the Bay of Bengal, in the Bay of Bengal, or Bengal, whatever you want to call it, I forgot, what, I forgot how you can call it again. So anyway... On here, if you can read this, it says Tropical Cyclone to be EOS Warning 7 uh, PGTW, which means it's a model. It's, a, it's, it's an Indian model, I don't know what the Indian model it is. So on the 25th, winds were 65, 26, and 12. U oh, O C sixty five knots gusting to hundred to eighty knots and then my peak is probably around eighty five to ninety miles an hour at least that when this was a category when this was a when this was a tro a tropical depression I was thinking right models are going to say that this is going to rapidly intensify my peak was a high in category four to a low in category to a high in category three, with a massive, with a pinhole eye, but that turned out differently, and it's better that it's a weaker storm now, because if it was much stronger, it would affect more people than it's going to affect now, and obviously it's going to head into populated areas of India, but obviously I'll show you some satellite imagery of the storm right now so I'm 
So honestly, I, I want Weather Nerds. Weather Nerds is a really good website. I would recommend going on Weather Nerds and Tropical Tibets and the NHC and uh, Tropical Tibets. They're the only websites that I go on because they are safe for start and they also have a wide range of models that you can pick from so anyway I'm gonna go into storm floaters as you can see up here and then you've got you've got um, the Western Pacific he got 98W invest 98W invest 97W and uh, and obviously you got this one Yas or Yas Yas, Yas, whatever you want to call it so anyway we're going to have some um, satellite imagery of this I think right, let's see if it will, if it will want to load guys oh yeah I think it's loading right now yes this, not, this, does not, this, this did not look good but I think the eye is a close to making landfall. It's at least 50, 50 miles off the coast of making landfall. So I'm sorry, guys, that I couldn't cover this. I am so sorry that I can't make it make landfall any sooner and get get it done rid of it like that. Because I know you Bangladesh people and you Indian people do not want another storm after Talte. Told Taylor you destroyed you, and I know you, India, aren't really a, a populated city. Oh, I know India is a populated city, and I know they are not. I know they are a very poor, uh, a very poor country. Some parts of India, they're like rich as hell, but like where Talte hit last week. It uh literally just decimated everything. It decimated everything. Decimated houses, it decimated boats, killed thousands, killed moms, dads, aunties, uncles, kids, babies and everything. So if you are in the path of the storm before it makes sandfall, please, I go and recommend, please go to a different country. It doesn't matter if COVID is is a thing, which I know it is a thing in America, I mean in India, should I say. And I know you Indians will get impacted by a lot of cyclones this year. Even though we're going to go back into a La Nina, which in a La Nina, you, in you, people in the Bay of Bengal and in the Arabian Sea, need need to be very careful. I will leave a link in my description for Force Thirteen. Go and check them out. They're way better than me. Even Cyclone Tracker Nars is way better than me. Go and check them out and go and subscribe to them. Because they are better than me. Anyway, I know they're better than me. And obviously, I'm trying to do my best right now. Even though I don't know how to edit. I don't know anything about thumbnail. I'll, as soon as I get 100 subs, then I'll start adding thumbnail to my, to my uh, things. But... Yeah, uh, please evacuate from this storm because this storm is a. This storm was originally meant to be 140 miles an hour and it's meant to have a massive pinhole eye. And, if it, and the eye would have. Half the eye would basically be on point right now. So here's the center of the circulation right here, guys, where my mouse is. Right? It's moving west northwest, it's grazing along the coast. Making India uh, some, giving India some rainfall actually, because they've got droughts actually in India now. 
So they do need the rain, they do need the rain. But if it was a lot stronger, it would be raining a lot heavier. And yes, the, it's not the winds that in the storm that is dangerous. It's basically the storm surge. The storm surge is the most deadliest part of, it, of a hurricane or a cyclone or a typhoon. Like, Australia almost got impacted by Cyclone Miriam of, no, Miriam of, 20, of 2020, I mean of 2021, and they, they got a lucky shot that it didn't, that nothing hit them. Well, they did Cyclone Kimmy, but that was, that, that barely caused any damage. And... In 2020 last year, Florida, you dodged a bullet. You literally dodged a bullet of 2020. And you even dodged a bullet of Hurricane Dorian. Hurricane Dorian was meant to go straight over you as a Category 5. Imagine that. You'd be decimated. You wouldn't be able to rebuild for 50 years. Because most of your population would be wiped out. So, yeah. It's meant to make a landfall in Calcada, apparently, which is uh, 200 miles off the coast right now. This only formed yesterday, and now it's making a landfall. That's strange. This only formed yesterday, and now it's making a landfall. And yesterday, it was a 40 mile an hour tropical storm. It ramped up a little bit to a 65 mile an hour storm. Today it got to a 70, 70 mile an hour storm. It got to a 75. No, yet yeah, no. Last night, you know, it was a 75 mile an hour storm. When I woke up, when I went back to, when I came back from school today, it was 75 miles an hour, and now it's 80 miles an hour. So it, it is boosting up a little bit, but. If this gets to a Calico 2 before it makes landfall, like everyone was predicting, I was predicting at least a Calico 2 to a Calico 4. At least that. So yeah, I'm going to show you some models and then I'm going to be ending this video f for the day, guys. So yeah. So anyway, I'm going to show you some models if I can find the models. Actually, I'm not going to find the models. Uh, because uh, I'm not really used to using uh, weathernerds.com, if you know what I mean. I've only just, I only just started to use it. And gone, guys, we back a minute. And yeah, guys, I am looking at the Pacific, don't worry. And look, have a look at these two invests that are in the Eastern Pacific right now. They're not going to kill no one, I'm not saying. They're just going to go out and see and... Anything. So obviously that one that you just saw right there doesn't do nothing because of wind shear. But, but the next one that comes off the coast, which is this one here, as, as you can see, it's starting to get itself organised. 990 and it G start to rapidly intensify. Maybe to at least a category four, I think. Yeah, I think it's a Category 4. Waters are warm enough, you know. They are about 20, 30, uh, 26 to 30 degrees Celsius, which is very conducive for tropical cyclone development. The waters have to be at least 26 degrees to sustain a tropical cyclone. If it's cooler than 28 degrees, if it's cooler than 20, 26 degrees, then obviously it, nothing will form. Maybe a subtropical system might form. But yeah, I'll show you some models on the um, on uh, on this storm. Apparently, the JTWC literally said uh, when this storm was an invest, they literally said that it was going to rapidly intensify. 
I, I was predicting that the storm was going to rapidly intensify. Force 13 said the storm was going to rapidly intensify. Even I admitted that it was going to rapidly intensify. Even everyone and the weather com in the community, even Twitter, weather Twitter, which I'm on right now, which says beef starting, which I'm I'm already I'm in this beef anyway. Don't know why. Uh, most most I I know two YouTubers have subscribed to me, which is good. Uh, yeah, I'm not telling you who you have to guess. Guess in the comments down below. So anyway. Um, the weather related anyway, just to let you know that. So this is, uh, 970, this is 978 millibars right now. This, this is going to be at least a 90 mile an hour storm, maybe at least a 95 mile an hour storm, a weak category 2. At least that, uh, and I don't know why, I don't know why WeatherNerds.com WeatherNerds.com is right but I don't know why Tropical Tibbets is saying that it's further offshore it's a hundred, it's fifty, it's I, it's fifty miles offshore right now and yeah they're getting the strong winds here, they're getting the strongest winds right here you can see no convection displaced in there's barely any convection plus wind shear as you can see right now is starting to hibbit the storm as you can see 974 975 979 by the time it makes sound for 979 millibars basically this storm will be a weak category one which is really good news which is, which is very good news for India and Card Carter because this system is dangerous don't even though it's a Calgary 1 do not take, the, take this seriously take this like a Calgary 5 cyclone slash typhoon slash hurricane hitting you it only takes one hurricane or one major hurricane to impact you and all your damages are wild in the balloons like Hurricane Sandy that was that wasn't even that wasn't even a well, that was a category two in the that was a category three in the Caribbean but then it it got and then obviously it formed in late late October and then got to a 1-2, 1-2, 1-2, 1-2, 1-2, tropical storm, tropical storm, 1-2, one, 1. And made landfall in New York. No storm has ever travelled into the Caribbean. Became, became a Category 3. Well, has become a Category 3. But hit Cuba since... Hmm... When was the last time a hurricane hit Cuba? Uh, 20, 2012, 2010 I think it was. Or 20, 2009. I don't know. I have to look that up. But Sandy caused one billion dollars of damages in Cuba. And... Um, and also, it also caused as a Category 1, actually it didn't make landfall as a Category 1, it made landfall as an extra tropical cyclone, which is still a Category 1, and, and it actually cost $27 million, that is the third costliest hurricane ever recorded in the Atlantic Basin so I don't know why guys so anyway as, as you can see it starts to rapidly weaken over land and yeah I guess